are you doing, Doug? I'm doing a bit of mixing, Dave. You said external's mixing today, mixing sounds. That's what I'm doing. Get down. Not that kind of mixing. Anyway, that's scratching. Scratching? That's what you did, Dave. When you had that unpleasant rash on you. But stop. Stop there. Roll the titles. <laughs> Is that it? <sighs> well, another update to the Decorio project. It's coming thick and fast now. This one, I'm quite excited about because I've been waiting for this uh, for a while. This was, Decorio project was always intended to do this. It seems to play more than one sound at once, the mixing of sounds. It was part of what I wanted to make it do right from the beginning and some of the infrastructure was was coded in already uh, but the other issues or things I needed to do came first but eventually I've got the coding in. So what basically we say we're mixing the sounds can do is we can play more than one sound at once. So we've got two sounds, we can mix them digitally together and output one modified waveform that will produce both them sounds at once. Now, in the old days, this was always done with some analog, elect analog electronics, even in some of the earliest uh, computers back in the late 70s, early 80s, uh, and, and beyond. And it's only in the recent years-ish that uh, sounds, uh, because they've been produced completely digitally now, more or less, can be mixed digitally as well. And that's exactly what I do, obviously, because we're using the digital teleconverter on the ESP32. We've got our sounds in a digital format, whether it's a WAV file, whether it's uh, musical sounds being produced directly by the Deck Audio software, uh, as used perhaps part of the musical score class that we have, where we can play entire sc scores of tunes. Where, however they're generated, we can now mix any of those types together to produce one clear sound. In fact, there is, n there is no limit on the amount of sounds that you can mix together apart from the technical limitation of it takes processor time to mix the sound together. It's, it's not much. Uh, it's, it's relatively a small amount of processor time. Um, so you could mix quite a lot of sounds together. I'm going to demo uh, just two sounds mixing together. So if you go, if you download the software, I should put up, uh, say so first. So you go to electronical.com and you can read the full article there. Just click into that. I've, I've done a bit of a write up of uh, this change and the other little bits of enhancements have happened in this version as well. Some of them were already kind of there, but not really talked about or mentioned. So I've done a write-up, have a read of that, talking about the changes that I've done. So as I said, you can go to, to download the actual latest version, you can go to Basics, Audio, Tax for Sound, and if you're watching it in my previous video, this is all the same and library downloads and the latest version is just there and if you followed my series of videos and blog posts about this you'll know exactly how to install that onto your system you, uh, quite a few people have built the hardware already which uh, i'll just bring on to <coughs> excuse me corner of the screen now there we go so I presume you've got that installed if you bring up your arduino I have uh, added a new example, examples for the mixing. I've also gone through the other examples and just tweaked them a little bit for the slight change that have happened and improved in, in a couple of ways. So you can see we've got all our examples so far uh, here. And we're going to choose the mixing example, rather logically, seeing that's what I'm mainly demoing. Let's make that full screen. And it's relatively simple. We've got some sound data in there. There's three different wave files in there. And they are Cantina, Blaster, and Force With You, all Star Wars references. I'm not particularly into Star Wars, but I just seem to be choosing these uh, for some reason. But Cantina is the uh, theme tune, not a theme tune, that's the wrong word, isn't it? Cantina is the 
bar scene earlier in the film where they've got some music playing in the background. So that's going to play basically that. So let's just take you through. We've got the deck audio being created there, as we usually do. One of the additions I've done here is you can add a third parameter if you want and set the buffer size. I've talked about buffer size in earlier videos. It defaults now to 4,000 bytes, 4K, which should be plenty for any sort of project you can possibly think of. I'm working on the Frogger project at the moment, which the oh, it's on screen now in the corner. That is the Frogger project hardware. I'll put a link up as well if you want to have a look at the latest video for that. And that requires at most about, uh, I think it's about 2K, 2,000 bytes, but I'll leave it at the default, I think. If you really need to alter the amount of bytes it's used for the buffer, then you can do it there. Or otherwise, just leave it as the default that you usually do, and it'll set the default buffer, 4,000 bytes. And then we create our three WAV objects, objects. And then on the container, this is another new update in this version. Before, you couldn't repeat, well, you could repeat forever. It wasn't a direct property like that, just called repeat forever. But you could only do it on musical scores. And you could only make musical scores repeat more than once. No other play item object that you could play to do that. I've now altered the code so that any item that you can put and play via the deck audio play command here, which is WAV files, as it's got there, musical scores, single sounds, sequences, any of those objects, you can tell them to repeat forever, repeat a certain amount of time. So that's one of the things. So the Cantina song, we're going to have playing continually in the background. So I'm going to set that up, repeat forever, yes. And then it's just going to play it. So that will just play continually in the background. And then all we're going to do, every four seconds, if you just look up here, we've got time between mixes, 4,000 milliseconds every four seconds. We log the last time, basically this current time. And then our loop, we do our usual fill buffer. You've got to have that once in your code at the top, preferably. You couldn't go anywhere, but the top is the best place to put it. Just put a fill buffer at the top. Again, if you watch previous videos, you know what's happening there. And then basically this line just basically every four seconds, it will try and mix in another sample onto the container song. And it does that here. So basically, so we've got a random chance, a one in two chance for each one of them. So if a random number between zero and one inclusive, so if it's a one, it'll play a force with you, which is the one we've heard in other previous examples in this series. And if it's a zero, it will play the blaster sound. So that's not loaded up. I'll quickly upload that to this hardware here and we'll be able to listen to that going. And we're uploading. Okay, let's turn the volume up. So you have to carefully, the background music of the cantina is quite loud. Listen for the fourth with you and blaster. There we go. So those sounds we mix on top of the cantina music, the blast that we hear every now and again, and of course the with you. We can lower the blaster sound and volume of it. If we cantina sound, sorry. So we go cantina. Got, I will have to just check, I can't remember what it is. Bear with. Logically, it is volume, so it's just half the volume of that, but it's from 0 to 1 through 7, so we set that to about 80. Uh, and we'll just re upload so we can lower the cantina volume down a little bit, and might be able to hear it a little bit better. Turn that down as well until it's done. And re uploading. Turn the volume up in a second. Okay. The volume is a little bit lower. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's better. Okay, so that's basically it. You can mix signs now, which opens up a lot of opportunities, certainly for me and the projects I want to do, um, probably other people's projects as well. Have a read through the uh, blog, as I said, that I brought up earlier. That will talk you through any other little enhancements that have been done. That's it for now. Hope you enjoyed that. Give it a thumbs if you did. And subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And hit that notification bell, just so you make sure you get any of my new videos in your feed. And off for now. See you next time. So, did you sort out that rush then? Yeah. Got some cream.